This whole crew over here comes over bomb rushes me. I had two girls trying to kill me, so I tried to defend myself, but my phone is gone, and I recorded everything, and they probably have my phone. Who has your phone? We don't know. Someone took my phone because I recorded the whole thing. They're lying. They're thieves. They come here. They don't belong here. They don't pay for this pool. Okay. We pay for all the what amenities. What is your name? My name is Blair Featherman, and I'm but not racist us, us at all. But I'll okay. tell you what, when they come in, and they come in for their party, they're trashy, they're nasty, and they don't belong here. If someone says that they're not usually racist, that's a good indication that they are in fact a racist. And some of you may be wondering why this woman looks and sounds familiar. Yeah, it's true. You have a fob, two people. You have a Mexican party in the pool. Racist Karen, let's find her Lakewood, Colorado. You can't just record me. I live here. I live here. Nowhere where you ever came from, you Media outlet The Messenger obtained and distributed the body cam footage of Blair Featherwood talking to Lakewood, Colorado police after going on a racist tirade a few months back. No, they don't. They never put them out here. The, 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 honestly, this is a big problem right now. So do you want us to make them leave and then we're Please make them leave. And yes, they don't belong the here. Thing. Are we pressing charges on that? Well, yeah, but they took my phone. Okay. I, I, don't, I can't. My kids, I have one kid that's coming up 6 o'clock. I have one Old. And then the, the funny thing is, a lot of these parents with all that are keeping their kids out here to watch. It's a mess. So me the parenting style is kids. horrible. One of the big, one of the girls took my phone and they're lying. All their fake nails are over there. If you couldn't tell by now, Blair here is pulling the classic white victimhood card that we've seen too many times now while covering these incidents, trying to garner sympathy from the officers to sway their opinion about the evidence they're evaluating. No, they, they came yeah, over we're, this we're way. Here and they came all they, over they think it's a racist thing, which sucks these days. Mm. It's but not you know what? It. I didn't have run after her. From an area Good. To come to the other area. Nice That's an aggressive. Out. I get that. Is it yeah. not? I get that. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. Depending on the circumstances. Okay. But more than one person, absolutely. When you're dealing with one person and eight people come over. Yeah. That's an aggressive act. After this officer corroborates what we witnessed in the viral TikTok, Blair and her camp vehemently refute that what we just saw didn't happen. There's you know two sides. We're telling theirs. Parker Hare, okay? Thank oh, you. Yeah, and and then here, other females. I've heard that about 15 Blair. times since I've been here. I've never been for a phone and then smacked the face of a female that was recording her. That's the information that I was. So I figured I'd give you guys benefit down. Ask you guys. Okay, so I'm going to tell you what happened. Yeah. So we were a So we we said this huge party, this huge party to search for a thing. We had this happen nonstop. Just for a few minutes. Cool hoppers, right? Yeah. And we've talked not, to management we have, we have no, a bunch of times. So like, nothing. People yeah. don't belong here if they don't have key pops, right? If okay. they don't have key pops, they don't belong. Okay. You can only have two guests. So instead of calling the company who manages this apartment complex, Blair called up her police officer friend and tried to get him involved, only further proving that Blair has no concept of a life without extreme privilege. The first one, I just got first one to the first. And then there were like six other girls that attacked her. And, and four guys attacked me. Did, and and we're just and we're just trying to like call management to make sure. And we go, do you have key fobs? And they're like, no, my my cousin lives here. My cousin lives here. So I hope I hope you guys understand right that they're saying one thing. Oh, I get it. They're saying one thing. I get it. But we have to find you guys are in the middle. If there's actually I get any validity to I get it. any of it. Right? So we can prove. So we can prove. Right? I know. I know. Just because I'm saying that you know somebody told me that Blair did this or you guys did this, that doesn't hold any weight unless I can prove it. And neither does it hold any weight from what they're saying. You know, because I was just under the impression that she knew how to contact management both based on what she had said to me. Both of us were trying. Said, no, no, no. If I can find the number. You guys. Now wait a minute. Okay. So here's the bottom line. I'm going to speak now, and we, you guys can follow up with me tomorrow after I reviewed the camera. Okay. I have an independent witness that is one-on-one -on -one basis with the district manager here that said you were saying racist stuff, instigating everything, blowing it up, and then when they confronted you, you couldn't handle it. Oh, that's not true. Well, we're gonna now, this officer definitely shouldn't have gotten in his feelings and whatever Blair was spewing, since his attitude is only making Blair shut down and lash out more than she already was. Okay. 
your buddy on the phone. It's on Look, my body cam. You have your okay? arms and securities. I can't deal with that. Okay. So in America, I believe we, you we can were, say whatever you want to, to a somebody. point. So there is a to there, a point. To but a point. To there say is a, we have a charge in here: disorderly conduct. It's saying okay. things that are likely to incite violence. And we heard from uh, the the racist comments. I'm not. Today. I think we'll they all come over. We'll yeah, all like seven of them. You know, were they, we're were they like to, punching you, said, kicking you? Oh my you? god, yes! Where did they punch oh you? God. I don't even know. I put my hand on it. I'm trying we'll to defend myself. Yeah. Okay. Were you honestly, struck anywhere, though, that you can point out? Uh, I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Don't know, but okay. I was trying to defend so, myself, of course. Okay. I think There's no often, way I'm not going to defend myself. You, know, that, you got 12, and even the men, Blair, I'm sorry if even you think the that men I'm were jumping on me. Because I, I just have to be impartial. Well, just, That's all it is. It's I nothing get personal. That. I get it. I'm not trying but to make it like seem like I'm... I feel like this is the problem with the world today. In the aftermath of this going viral, Blair did the typical media tour to convince the public that she isn't a gross human. Being gifted a not-so-subtle headline and coverage from, well, what do you know, Fox News from her interview with the Daily Mail, with the self-proclaimed feng shui only taking the slightest bit of responsibility by saying she shouldn't have been baited into the altercation and blamed her racist remarks on having a bad day beforehand.